guys, it's your boy Jazero back with another video. What's up guys, it's your boy Jazero back here with another video, man. And today we have uh, something uh, very... Uh, Interesting that uh, you don't really see with a lot of uh, artists or a lot of groups and today we have the YB and Namir Almighty J YB and Corday mixtape that just came out. So uh, let's get to it So yeah, um the first thing I saw this I saw I think on Thursday night It was on a rap. I saw that uh, that mixtape coming out on Friday. So I was like, okay, so I saw that and um I was really wondering like what was gonna be on it and everything like how they're gonna mix it together And I'm not gonna lie. They didn't do that bad of a job of like mixing all three voices together Uh Namir was on there the most which I understand because he's like the biggest artist right now Which I think Corday may pass him up on my J still doing his thing But I think one of those two may pass him up But Namir had the most like was most prominent on this uh, album and uh, The first song on there, you know, I got to it was a int it was the intro and I'm not gonna lie in the intro That was like the most lyrical I've ever heard while YB and Almighty J and uh, Namir ever like you're gonna like the beat from it. This is the whole thing. The the whole, the intro is really one of the best songs on the entire album. After that, you know, I got to Porsches in the rain. Um, it was Namir and Jay in the. Uh, it was really Namir and Jay with a lot of uh, a lot of songs. The album. Uh, it was a uh, 23 of them. It was uh, approximately like an hour long, I think. And you heard Namir and Jay in like a on, mo on a lot of them on a lot of the songs. More likely than not, you just heard Namir and Jay and Cordy was kind of the third wheeling mostly. But he really on the songs that he was on, he was honestly the. Uh, the best on there and uh really the songs that he was on are really the best songs on this album um after i got into the portion in the rain uh uh there were songs like uh just with corday that was a uh, target i feel like target uh corday really showed a lot of his uh storytelling ability and he showed that on that um song for sure just uh on his uh it was his uh accounts with the cops when being pulled over and you could just hear the imagery and the uh, storytelling he had on that uh on that song, and it really just felt like you were right there in the, in the driver's seat with him when he was uh, on that one. After that, uh, we got in the, there was a very, uh, there were some pretty nice features on there that, uh, like, you just heard it, it was like, oh, this is where the features on there. But really, I feel like none of the features really came together with, uh, with um the artists, with uh any of the three artists. I feel like really the features really just kind of a waste. The Chris Brown song, uh, the Chris Brown feature, it only had, uh, Cord I mean, only had, uh, Navier on it, it did not have Corday or Almighty J, and it was, uh, it was a little corny to me. I'm not really to feel it. It was uh, Chris Brown on the verse and had Corday on the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Namir on the, uh, Chris, it was Chris Brown on the hook, had Namir on the verse. I mean, it was really uh, just about uh, killings and uh, just dying. And it was, Namir, you know, he kind of sounds a little repetitive with his style, um, but uh, on that song, but uh, really Chris Brown really didn't add too much to it. Other songs that had uh, features on it was uh, t uh, Cake with uh, Wiz Khalifa. It was also Namir and Wiz Khalifa. I'm pretty sure it was just those two. It was really just like a twerk song, basically, like a like strip club dance type song. It really wasn't too much to it, honestly. After that, we got in a double back with a Cuban doll and Asian doll, which was kind of cool because I really, there's a lot of those dolls, like Dream Doll, everybody like that. So hear them on the song together. I don't know if they've done it before. I'm not really too big on them. Or I haven't really uh, listened to them that much. But having them, uh, it had one with a Namir on it. It was really just, really the. The, the features really just had Namir on it, honestly. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, Cuban Doll, Asian Doll, and then uh, they were just, uh, Namir had the hook, just like a repetitive hook on it. And then uh, Cuban Doll and Asian Doll had a verse on each, but really nothing that was like, you really wanted to listen to over and over again. Um, made me feel, this is just, uh, this really caught my eye, because this one right here, I feel like, I don't know if this is our first song, but I know it's one of the only songs that it's just YB and Corday and YB and like J on it, only those two. And uh, I'm not going to lie, that's one of the best on the album. Great beat. Uh, it had Corday singing for a little bit. Then it had Almighty J. Like, they switched up the beat. Then Almighty J came in. And then they had Cordy with a ver Corday with a verse. And then they had Almighty J with a verse. The beat and everything just went off. It sounded like a, like, the whole thing's went together perfectly. And that's really, that's up there for, like, really the best song on this album, really. That's one of the best songs on this album. Uh, make me feel with uh, Corday and Almighty J. And I call my eye because just those two, not not me on it at all. Um, other songs on there, um, like I said, the intro is good. Uh, there was a lot of songs that were, it was 23 songs on there, but I'll say, uh, I'll say 14, 15, maybe even 13 songs were actually new songs. The rest of them were uh, just, uh, were just songs that were already out. They had Chopsticks on there, Bounce Song with that. They had a Kung Fu, Scotty Pippen with a Corday. They had all these songs in there that were already out, and then they were just like, uh, 
some of the uh, four, about 14 13 of them were actually new songs it's surprising though it's i i commend i like i, I took my hat to them how they got a whole group project going just the brand they're trying to build with uh those three going on right now just a brand they're trying to build that is perfect that is awesome how they're doing it and uh i don't know how many uh sales is gonna get i'm thinking like i don't know i don't think it's gonna be a huge one if it's gonna be like 25 30 honestly maybe 20 25 30 Maybe I think twenty twenty five thirty. I think if, any, if they get anywhere like to forty thousand, I feel like that's a success for them. That's a completely good success. Um, my phone just shot, but uh, yeah, that's uh, if they get from forty thousand, that's a a great one. If they get forty thousand on this, that's a success. But I think they're selling about twenty twenty five thirty, mostly. But um, yeah, I just feel like uh. Corday has the ability to become a superstar out of the group. I feel like he uh, he really shows off his like shows off his uh his abilities in this mixtape that you really don't like that you really didn't like uh, know if you didn't heard about him. I feel like he, this is gonna expose him to a totally new group of people, and uh, I feel like his uh the way he like he sings a little bit on here he uh, raps has great verses um switches up from style from like he switch really switches up from like the old school. The Target song he had in there really sounded like an old school 90s type song. And then you had um, other songs where he's just, uh, he had some couple singing songs. And he had some just songs where he's just rapping like new school, like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, like a trap type beat. And then the other song, he was actually just like, you know, like lyricism. So and the way he switches up is cool. Almighty J really surprised me on that uh, intro. How him and um, Namir had like the lyricism, like on, like, it was just like, the way they were talking and just like, it was on deck. Like, they are talking about how the story of, uh, it was just, not Cordae, it was just Namir and J. On the uh, intro, just about how they, uh, you know, thought about the whole idea of of, of YB and how everybody said it was stupid, but it's how they uh, how they persevered everything all, and then like how where they are right now, and then how everybody's like just trying to come back to them, and, like just like uh, like fake fake people just saying, oh, you know, let me get a picture, everything like that. But uh, the way how they just spoke about it, how they were just like down bad, and now they're just like they're coming up big. It's just uh, it's a it's a good song. So my favorite song on the album, made me feel is my favorite song on the album. But uh, I feel like for um. Cordy, I feel like he's really just gonna he's gonna get more exposure off this. I feel like Almighty J, he's gonna like, keep on doing his thing. I don't know how he needs to. He signed up with Shakira, so that's cool. You know, I feel like Rich is gonna give him something. Rich is not the best label partner, but he's all right. But I feel like he's gonna keep on expanding. I don't know. I can see him falling off a little bit. I have no idea, like an ugly guy type thing. But I feel like he may keep it on going. I feel like Namir, he's like a hit type dude. So it's kind of it's kind of risky like that. Cause I feel like Yachty's a hip type, uh, like a hit type dude. Like he has to have hits to keep on going. And when Yachty's not dropping hits or trying to hit for a little while, you know, you don't hear about him. I feel like maybe stay through Namir. Cause like I said, you had a uh, rubbing off the paint, and then you had bounce up with that, and then you have heard you had no hook, which was a kind of hit, had about ten million on YouTube. But after that, it's like okay, you have to keep on dropping hits to stay relevant. So yeah, we'll see about that. But yeah, guys, that's it. I'm gonna have a, another uh, song review coming on today. But uh, yeah, this is my review of the YBN mixtape. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what your thoughts were. It's your boy Jazzy Real. We're out. Static selector.